my wife uh, got me this little workbench for Father's Day this year. And since it was Father's Day, I was like, how about you come help me uh, put this together? Although I'm not going to put it together because I know what I want. Uh, I could have built a table from scratch, but then I would have had to have designed the thing. I figured this way, this gives me a good base. I've read the reviews. It's good hardwood, but there's, you know, a few things that are lacking. But for 120 bucks on sale, you know, you get what you expected. And I'm completely pleased with the table and it came out awesome. So uh, right off the bat, when we opened the box, some of the MDF was already broken, which, you know, I've seen other people have that same issue. And that was to be expected. I'm not going to use the MDF. The other part is the drawer slides. The drawers are real small. The uh, holes in the top let the, uh, you know, any kind of sawdust fall through. There's just a lot of issues there with the uh, drawers that come with it. And a lot of uh, that shelf can't put more than about five, 10 pounds on it. It'll fall through. So here's our day we spent in the shop and what we did to make this an awesome, awesome table. So we just took the uh, tabletop out of the uh, box and I um, take a quick look here. So see that's right at four inches on that side. Uh, that one's right at four inches. But if you look right here, we're an inch and seven eighths and then we're over two inches there. So this little board is over an eighth of an inch crooked. A quarter to three eighths of an inch further in on this side than we are that side. So these uh, boards were not put in square and um, this board here is uh, put in at an angle. So. Uh, this is the bracket for our small little vise. Um, it'll work. It'll be a good little vise there. But we're going to take these brackets out and uh, we're going to replace those brackets. I'm going to beef up the inside because this uh, tabletop is only uh, less than three quarters of an inch thick. So we're going to put a piece of three quarter inch plywood inside here, which will actually make this tabletop a little bit more durable where you can beat on it. It'll add some weight to the table. Uh, it's one of the uh, downfalls of this table is it's kind of lightweight. And um, when we put everything back together, we'll make sure everything's nice and square. Pretty much nothing on this table. I don't think they used any glue other than gluing finger jointing the uh, little hardwood slivers together. So that's just uh, stuck in with the uh, varnish that they used. So um, those came right out. So all I did right here is I drilled a couple of inch and a quarter holes right where the little vise is for the um, clamp on the end of the table and then uh, cut across to make a little notch. Now the uh, with this inch and a quarter uh, plywood here, it's almost just barely rubbing. So I'm going to have to uh, re-drill and put a little groove in here so that the uh, vise will be able to be reinstalled. So I just took my little um, multi-tool here and I cut this out real quick. You know, uh, this is, like I say, just going to be the little notch around where the vise is. So it doesn't have to be exact. The little vise didn't have anything right there around it. I um, went ahead and uh, did just a real quick sanding with some 80 grit paper here to knock that varnish off. That way when I put in my the piece of plywood that I can you know glue it down and uh, get a real good adhesion because um, yeah I want that table to be nice and solid so what I had done is I cut a couple of uh, these little boards here I think it's about 12 of them and uh, made them about an inch and a half square drilled a hole in the center ran a screw into them I made sure I had a real good solid coat of glue all the way on here dropped a piece of plywood in and then came up through the existing dog holes 
and uh, ran those uh, little screws in and that pulled the uh, plywood tight that way I didn't have to clamp it that was kind of like the clamping system I used worked great and uh, the thing about it is I'm going to drill these holes all the way through when I'm finished and so you won't see these holes you know the, uh, the screw holes aren't going to oh, affect anything I'm going to use these on one side of my bench, and then I'm going to do drawers on the other side. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down so that it will fit into our table. So, you know, I wanted uh, storage in the table, and I had this little thing already built, you know, so I didn't see the need in shooting a video on how to build this because there's dozens of videos out there on these little star storage uh, racks. Um, if you don't have one, they work great. And uh, this project. It just so happened that this fit in perfectly into the table and um, couldn't have been happier with the way it came out. So all I did here was I sanded the down, made sure that the varnish was off of these little brackets. These are the original brackets. Now there's a front and a back. You see the screw hole in the center. You know, um, just make sure that that goes either way because I'm not really paying attention to front or back. But I just want to make sure they were the same. And that's also why I cut that little spacer board. It's about three and a half inches. And that way I would be the same and nice and square from each of the edges. So I made sure once again that I sanded off any varnish on any place that I was going to glue. Then use the original hardware and attach the leg and made sure that I was straight. There's enough play in the holes that you can put those legs on crooked one into those original holes. Right, so I had uh, got my measurements uh, before I had glued the far set of legs and then um, made sure that I um, was at the well, same measurement on both sides and attached the legs on the far side down. Then I came up here with that board, made sure it was flush and then I clamped it uh, on this little bracket. And then that way I made sure that my legs um, were the same width at the bottom as they were at the top. Then I uh, glued it down and uh, uh, screwed it. I then went around to the other side and put my glue on there, clamped it, made sure that it was nice and flush and uh, screwed it again. Um, you know, went ahead and pre-drilled those holes because this uh, wood can uh, split on you if you're not careful. So I went ahead, uh, took a piece of uh, plywood I had here. I cut it to fit just inside the legs. I ripped it in half, you know, about three, four inches, uh, maybe five inches. And then uh, I did a couple of pocket hole screws. You don't have to do pocket hole screws. You could just come on the inside of the legs. But what you want to do is you want to tie these legs together side to side and that way the table can't uh, rack on you and it greatly increases the strength. Uh, it's much better than the uh, factory. Even though they were the hardwood boards, the factory boards had that cam lock a bolt that just isn't that strong. Okay, so like the rest of this project, you know, I um, was just going to build on what we already had here. So once I... Uh, got that bottom shelf built. I got my measurements off that shelf and I decided that it would look better if I did shelves on both sides. So I took my measurement and it just turned out to be about 22 and a half inches. So I, um, by about 14 inches wide. So what I did was I multiplied 14 times four, gave me a little extra. And so I cut this board, a piece of plywood, four times as wide as what I needed. That way I could cut all my dados at once and I know that they would all be exactly the same and straight. I came up a half inch off the bottom and then uh, it just worked out to where at five and a half inches um, I could have four drawers, you know, so five and a half inch drawers. So I took the two outside ones and just screwed them straight to the legs. The two inside ones I used pocket screws. And since it was 14 inches, I cut these little spacer boards because pocket screws have a tendency to push the board in and then your measurements will get off. So I put those in there. They became uh, nice and snug once I screwed them in and uh, did the top and bottom on both sides. And then when I slid in the little storage compartment that was pre-built, I mean, it just uh, worked it perfectly. Uh, it's almost like a friction fit. It just uh, a couple of bumps with the hand 
and it went in there just as good as you could uh, ask for. It was getting close to the end of the day. I should have took a little bit more time on the pattern, but I just drilled a couple of uh, holes here and uh, made a little you know, place I could stick my finger in. And then um, once I did one, I uh, used some little double-sided tape and just stuck it to the rest of my front and backs because this was going to be moved around. I wanted the drawers where they could come out at either side. After I uh, made my pattern, I cut out the notch on all of them. I then went back with a little round over um, bit. Uh, project I was doing before, I wanted a lip and then a round over. And so I had put a smaller bearing on this bit. And after I cut the first one, I realized it. But, you know, it uh, made the project come out look unique. I started to uh, go ahead and redo that one and um, put the proper bearing on it. But, you know what, we said, you know, let's just go with it. So, um, you know, I went ahead and rounded over the edges of all the fronts, uh, which I had two fronts and two sides on either, either drawer. So then I came over to my table saw and I figured out that my um, miter groove was just about the right um, distance for the uh, amount of uh, board that's hanging over to go into the dado. So I just used that and because the, you know, all the boards are cut square, as long as I lined up the edges and got the space in the seam, I knew everything would come out nice and square. So it made it real simple. I just put a bead of glue on there. I got my little pin nailer, threw a couple pins in it to hold it uh, tight until the glue dries. And then the weight of these drawers are all sitting on the bottom. Well, the bottom is a solid piece and the bottom piece is what also goes in the dado. So the sides is just keeping stuff to fall out. Whereas most drawers, the sides is where your hardware is connected to and then the bottom will come out because all the weight is pulling the bottom out of the sides. So all we had left to do was to come back and drill out for the clamp. You know, it was a couple of half inch holes. We drilled those out, uh, went ahead and redrilled out the dog holes three quarter inch. Um, the tabletop, you know, the finish on it wasn't the best, uh, in the, coming out the box, there were some spots that was kind of scuffed. So I went ahead, sanded the whole thing down and put on a coat of wipe on poly. And I'm very happy with the way this turned out. So if you like this kind of uh, project, I tried to speed everything up, but actually show you everything also, um, give me a thumbs up down there. Um, if you would think about maybe hitting that subscribe button, you know, um, YouTube, they like it whenever people subscribe to your videos. And if uh, I could actually ever get enough subscribers up here, then maybe I could uh, justify spending a little bit more time on these build videos. I've uh, shot a dozen of them, but then end up never finishing them out just because it takes so much time to edit the video. But this little thing, um, I really like the way it came out. So, um, heck, I'll give myself a thumbs up for this one.